right, so how you feeling? Complaining about officiating is as old as competition itself. But the dynamic here, of course, that makes this different is that these guys are not the regular NFL officials. And whether this speeds up a labor deal remains to be unseen. But in the meantime, fans are directing most of their wrath at the replacements. Our Justin Williams joins us live from Raleigh Sports Bar with more on different ways fans are, shall we say, venting, Justin? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it, it's... Uh... It's been interesting to hear what these folks have come up with and to see how folks are dealing with this. We've spent a very interesting day kind of tapping into the pain Packers fans are feeling. And while we've come across some interesting coping mechanisms, all agree the game's last call was ridiculous. Suzanne Campbell was one frustrated football fan following the infamous final play of Monday night's Green Bay Packers game. And I don't usually get very emotionally involved, but... I was yelling at the TV and kind of pounding on the chair. But Tuesday morning, on her way to work at Milwaukee's Miller and Campbell costume service, she came up with a way to cope, kind of. Let's think about this. Let's think about referees and how we can jump in on this and, you know, kind of make fun of the blind referees, and then we expanded to the zombie referees and the nerd referees. Phenomenal idea. When I heard about it, I was, uh, brought a smile to my face right away. Oh, yeah. One size fits all, one call fits all. What? If the TV thing doesn't work out, I know I can do this job. <laughs> Meanwhile, I wanted to kill. <laughs> <laughs> They got ripped off. I mean, they got ripped off big time. To get the bad taste out of fans' mouths at Greenfield's Club Paragon, the owners now offer a newly named Bad Call Burger to commemorate the creative <clears throat> catch. How many bad calls are we talking about? <laughs> Not just one, unless you want to call it the Bad Call Burger. He has a point as peeved Packers backers belly up for some thirsty therapy, drowning their sorrows in the failed Mary. I think it kind of is a way to say, all right, we're moving on, but we're going to celebrate this way. Here at Rowley's Bar and Grill, you can see, kind of sign says it all type of thing here. It is indeed ridiculous. We also stopped at a different Milwaukee restaurant where we got to talk to the general manager, and he says that he's come up with this uh, protest idea because he's so peeved about the situation, and he doesn't even care if this protest idea costs a little bit of money along the way. We'll explain that coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, that is the latest from Brown Deer. I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. So many businesses trying to cash in on this as, as maybe a way to offer their apologies. One hair salon at Bay Shore said coming in for a massage and relieve your stress. <laughs> I get it. I can deal with that. Yeah I, yeah, I got some stress too. Yeah, and Rollies saying, yeah, liquid therapy. All right, Justin, thanks. <laughs> as long as it's not the report.